In this lesson, we're going to learn about lofted bends in SolidWorks sheet metal. People will often ask how to create a section of an auger in SolidWorks and then flatten it out so it can be cut and then formed. You will use this technique to create an auger. You can see we've got a section of an auger on the screen and it can be flattened out. This is how you go about creating this. Create a new part from your infinite skills part template. On the top plane, create a circle. and give it a 20 inch diameter. Hit F on the keyboard to zoom to fit. Exit the sketch and then open another sketch on the top plane and draw another circle and make this new circle a 28 inch diameter and exit that sketch as well. If you're wondering, yes, you do need two separate sketches in order to do this. Flip over to your Features tab on your Command Manager. Click the drop down for Curves and select Helix and Spiral. Select one of the circles, set it to 0.5 revolutions, a pitch of 10 inches, use a constant pitch, make sure that it's set to pitch and revolution, and also make sure that the start angle is zero and that the spin is clockwise. Click the green check to accept the result. Do the same with the inner circle using the same settings. The sheet metal lofted bend feature cannot be used to loft between 3D curves such as portions of a helix. So we have to convert these into 3D sketches before we can proceed. To create a 3D sketch, click the drop down next to the sketch icon on the sketch toolbar and click 3D sketch. You could also access the command through the menus at insert 3D sketch. Select one of the curves and then click on the Convert Entities button on your sketch toolbar. Now you have to exit the sketch and create a second 3D sketch, making sure not to edit the first 3D sketch, and go through the same exercise with selecting the helix, converting entities, and then exiting the sketch. So you created two 2D sketches and two 3D sketches. From here, start the Lofted Bend Property Manager and select the two sketch curves. This gives you a preview of a sheet metal part. You can change the thickness if you want to make it more visible. And this creates a helical sheet metal part. There are some limitations with the lofted bends feature. One of those limitations is that it can only have two profiles. You cannot create multiple profiles. You can also not create guide curves with the lofted bends feature. Geometry developed from the lofted bends is reasonably accurate. However, I wouldn't rely on it for highly accurate applications. Lofted bends has been applied often by people seeking to find flat patterns for fabric constructions such as tents. 